Boris asked us what we wanted to do and how we wanted it to go and all. We had a few ideas, minor things, I think. But uh, we just kind of left it up to her. And so it was as much a surprise to us as it was to her. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> when it actually came off, and at the, after the service, she asked us if how we felt it went. You know, was it what we wanted? And I said it was way more than what we wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Three Thank cheers you. for Boris. Okay, cool. Hip hip huzzah. All right, cool. <laughs> and then we have our church family friends. We have Hank and Karen Lesher, Randy and Claudia Lisman, Max Sebaugh, Laura Lamar, Kyle and Susan Dixon. And for a while, gosh, several years ago, it's too bad we don't do it anymore, we would have international dinners. Oh, yeah. And yes. every month we would pick a country and uh, the person hosting it would fix the main dish and then we would all bring something pertinent to that country. And that was really fun when we did that. Uh, and then, um, those of you who know me know I love mysteries. And I, I, I read voraciously and um, my dear friend and my favorite author, Kit Sloan, is here with uh, her husband. Oh my goodness! You can get it on Amazon. <laughs> they are really good. Yes, they are. Wow, I love them. She has a table outside that she'll sign. There you go. There you go. They are good. And of course, last but not least, I have um, uh, Esther and Russ Ortel. They, uh, uh, Esther teaches cooking classes, and I think you just did a little stint out at Hardister's doing salads and croutons. Well, after 50 years of cooking this many, as many meals as I have cooked, Esther keeps my inspiration for cooking. Mm -hmm. She's really talented, and um, I'm hoping she's working on a cookbook. <laughs> <laughs>